All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to configure our 202 in dash uh, digital gauge. It is a 202 DDG 02C, and this is for a single height control valve truck and a single height control valve trailer. So, this gauge is the 202 DDG 02. We have two built in air sensors. Let's make sure that you configure the scale before you calibrate it, otherwise, your calibration data will reset. Okay, so from the home screen, we're gonna hit on the wrench on the lower right-hand corner here. We are then gonna go into settings. We're going to click over on the arrow till we see configuration inputs. There we go. We'll click on configuration inputs. So here's the straight line. That means the weights are averaged together. Uh, what we're going to do is click on the box to get the diagonal. Now we are separating the two weights so you have the drive weight for your tractor and the trailer weight for your trailer. So then we're going to hit the back arrow. So we're going to click into configuration names. And this is where you're actually going to name the two sensors. So first we're going to click on uh, one, which is currently your steer, we're going to change that to uh, drive because that's where your first sensor is going to be hooked up to. And then we're going to click on the two. We will change that sensor to trailer A because that is where your second sensor is going to be going to. Now you have officially changed the configuration names. So from here, if you want to turn on your estimated steer, we will go back. We will continue to uh, click over with the arrow in the lower right hand corner until you see estimated steer. There it is. Click on that. You'll have the two buttons on off. You just click it on. So this is going to give you estimated steer based on the air pressure seen on the drive axle. So we've turned on the estimated steer. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to the home screen so we can see all of our weights. So let's just click the back arrow, back arrow, hit the home screen in the lower left hand corner. And what we're going to do is just hit on the weight. And that will bring up your estimated steer, your drive, your trailer A, and your gross weight. So now the scale is ready to be calibrated. Please check out our other videos for more information.